In this video, I'm going to show you the secret to stopping corner routes in Madden, and I think you're going to really enjoy this video. I haven't done a ton of videos in terms of like how to stop an actual specific route, but we all face corner routes in different offenses. Corner routes is kind of a staple route in many offenses, so I want to show you some tools and give you some tools for stopping that. Uh, if you guys want to get, we're going to be talking about big nickel over G, and we're going to specifically be talking about some match concepts as well as some other base coverage concepts. If you want to get my entire big nickel over G defensive ebook, it also comes with an entire defensive ebook devoted to teaching you the match principles in this game so if you want to get access to both of those things become a patreon member today for just ten dollars it gets you access to all of our ebooks all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release so make sure that you're in the patreon ten dollars to ensure that you have the most mad knowledge at your fingertips so if you want to sign up for that the links in the description real quick how we're going to run this uh, defense, I'm going to run this with auto flip off just for just because there are some alignment bugs within Big Nick Lover G and we're going to be primarily focusing on coverage today. Um, you don't have to run this with auto, auto flip off. We teach you in the in the ebook how to deal with this. But um, yeah, so anyway, just for simplicity, we're going to run it with auto flip off. Then we're going to make sure once you make sure your zone coverage is set to match. OK, your zone coverage has to be set to match for your match to match. Okay, uh, hopefully that makes sense. So a um, couple things. First things first, I'm gonna talk about kind of broad strokes, like some things that you can do to take away corner routes in terms of how zones work, and then we're gonna get into match coverage. So I wanna start with um, just a basic cover two. Okay, just a basic cover two. And we're gonna come out in, um, in, in bunch actually, and we'll talk about bunch and we'll talk about tight. Uh, we'll get to tight in just a second. So uh, real quick, Madden, the way zones work in Madden, is based off of a grid system. Uh, what do I mean when I say grid system? I mean, there's literally like invisible, you can't see it, but there are these grids in the game. And so, for example, uh, one of the grids that exists in this game is these hash marks. So as you see right here, my bunch is, I'm, the ball's on the left hash mark and my bunch is to the right. That means that my bunch is to the wide side of the field. In compression formations, okay, in compression formations, really what you need to pull a third Okay, so let's say for example that I'm in cover three. Okay, if they if they want to pull this third, they have to have a route in his grid. Okay, and his grid, if you look at this, is basically from about right here to outside. Okay, and really more so, like it's it's basically numbers to the sideline, is is really the the grid of the third. Okay, the grid of the third is essentially numbers to the sideline. So. And I did not mean to do that. So if I was to try to run bunch trail, what you will see is if I don't motion this receiver outside, then this third is going to play this corner route to the wide side of the field. You see it matches it really, really well. Another thing that you can do is we know that C routes are really good. Just by running an outside third over here, because there's no pull route for the C route, just by putting this guy in the outside third, it will typically stop the C route completely, as you can see right there, okay? So now, let's complicate things a little bit, okay? So let's complicate things a little bit. The best way to show this is now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move the ball to the right hash mark, or we would flip our bunch and run our bunch to the short side of the field. Now, if you look at this, you're gonna notice that 88, um, Michael Irvin here, is now on the numbers. He's now on the numbers. And so, again, what is a third play? Numbers to sideline. So, what you're gonna see is now this third is not gonna play the corner, it's gonna play the streak, and now I can throw the corner route. Now, let's do something else. So let's say that we were to motion this running back into the into the um, out here basically and we're gonna run this cover three defense okay so now um, what's what should happen here is the running backs down at the numbers right so if I was to run this play this C route on the left side is still gonna get bagged by the third as you can see okay so again it's based off of a grid all right super important super important so now let's talk about tight and how we can understand this so this is, if you go to tight, and let's say they run this, if they are to this right, to the to this left side of the screen, or the if the ball is on the right hash, and they're trying to flood this left side of the screen, this is not going to work properly. And it's not gonna work because any third on the field, any outside third, whether it be from the safety position, 
or it be from the corner position, is going to do a really good job of defending this corner route because there's nothing in its grid to pull the route out. Again, that's a KO. It, it should stop that. All right. Um, so now let me show you one other thing that we can do out of Big Nickel over G. We can take these outside safeties and we can put them in outside thirds. When you put an outside safety in an outside third, what you'll see is it creates kind of the similar feel where that outside third will play that corner route, as you can see right there. Now, the problem becomes when they run this to the short side of the field. So if I'm over here, and, and when you're in tight, you can flood either side, right? Um, so if I'm over here now, and I run that exact same coverage, you are gonna notice that this corner route is going to get open over the top, as you can see right there. And therein lies the primary challenge for defending corner routes, it's short side corners. Um, that is the biggest challenge that we face, I think, defensively this year. So how do we stop it? Couple different things you can do. Number one, an outside quarter zone. If you put an outside quarter zone over there and you have a middle third rolling into the middle of the field, right? So we could do something like this with a quarter on the left. Um, you're still gonna have trouble, but if they run something like this, you'll see that this outside quarter, um, it can actually play that. As you see right there, it actually plays it really, really well. I wanna show you the problem. And again, it comes back to this grid system in terms of how zones play. So what you're gonna notice here is if you watch this streak, you're gonna see that this streak is basically a touchdown over the top, as you can see right there, basically a touchdown, okay? So how do we stop a streak for a touchdown and you know, and then and at the same time be able to do that? We have to drop zones in the proper grid, okay? It's really, really important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quarter over there. We're gonna drop this guy in a third because he's on the grid of the short side of the field. Then what we wanna do with this guy, and we're not gonna, it's gonna be kind of uh, weird. We're gonna just man him up on the running back. We would wanna put him in a hard flat. I'm not gonna, spend too much time explaining the different difference in adjustments for Big Nick Clover G. If you want to learn that, just go check out the Big Nick Clover G ebook. But this guy, we'd want to put him in a, in a curl flat or just man him up or whatever. But it, it, it is what it is. It's fine. Now what you're going to notice, though, and again, we want an outside third to the wide side from that safety. So you see here, wide side. And then I'm going to take that mid read off the field. Okay. So now they're going to run something like this is what it looks like. And now what you see is that middle third is going to play that, and then the quarter is going to play that, as you can see. Super good. Super, super good adjustment. So the basic principle is understanding the grid system that the game is actually built on. And the grid system that the game is actually built on would explain to us why cover four to the short side is actually pretty good if you couple it with cover three to the wide side. So you see here, it, this middle third is playing this clear out streak, as you can see. Now I wanna show one other little caveat to this, and that would be, what if they, um, you know, what if they did this, where they go, like we're here, right? And let's say that they do two flood concepts. So something like this, okay? I want you, we're just gonna watch and replay, but what you should see here is this is gonna be a touchdown. Um, so what you're gonna see here is now the middle third defender is in conflict. Now the middle third defender is in a significant amount of conflict. And what you see is I could probably, I can't really throw that, that corner route's not deep enough, but I could probably pass lead this with an outside pass lead and this could be a touchdown, okay? So therein is where match coverage becomes super helpful. So there are ways to stop corner routes without match cover, like without traditional uh, coverage, like cover for match or whatever. But it, it, it really does, it, it really does truly come down to grid. So like another way we could do this is if we leave, if we left this guy back and we put him in a middle third, we got this guy in a quarter, this guy's in a vertical hook. And then maybe we won't, maybe we even drop this guy, right. Or just whatever, but you know, something like this. Okay. Now, and then we had the, the third on the right. So now if you watch this variation of the play now, if they run a concept like this, the tight end should be the problem route that you see there. And actually the corner was open that time. So therein is where we, we want to come back into match. So match coverage, whether it be cover four palms, cover six, cover nine, doesn't matter. Um, and I'll just set them all. So we have quarters, uh, we have palms. And again, we have an entire ebook that teaches everything you need to know about match coverage and how to run it at a high level. Um, but basically here's the thing. 
it has within it certain checks versus certain formations, one of them being against compression. And it's basically this. You get what's known as a box check to the running back side. It's only to the running back side. That is super, super important to understand. It's only to this running back side. So what you'll see here is this guy will take the running back. This guy will take the streak. And this guy will take the corner. So if I run this play flood, I just have to call match coverage. And it will literally take away that corner route over there on the left. As you can see, it swaps it off. Okay, but what we need to do with this is now we have to figure out, okay, well, how are we going to play to the other side of the for, uh, formation? Well, it's actually fairly simple to, to, to make that decision. We're going to basically play cover three because why? It's to the wide side of the field. So we're going to inside third here. We're going to outside third here. This guy's going to be in a hard flat. And then we're going to be usering over the middle of the field. And this is now going to take away corner routes on either side. So if the because now they can't run a corner route on either side of the formation. It's going to play it too easily. You see there, left plays it, right plays it. Now, if you want that guy to not do that where he gets burned over the top like that, there's a couple ways to stop that. Uh, really, just leave the if you just leave this guy backed off, that's going to be fine. Honestly, just leave him backed off, and that's going to be fine. And what you'll see, again, we're thirding the right side, and we have match on. So we're getting a box check from these three players over here. This is my favorite way to defend corner routes. I wanna run match to the short side, and then I wanna run cover three to the wide side. So you see cover three, cover three, okay. And then these quarter flats, they you can shade down and those will play like hard flats basically, which is fine. And then the beauty of this is now they have to attack you in the middle of the field. Well, there are some actual good ways to do that. Um, and it's it's really something like this. So how do you how do you stop something like that? Again, not exactly the purpose of the video, but one of my favorite things to do is drop one of these defense alignment into a bluff blitz. They'll play over the middle pretty well in a three rack. You then want to blitz your user, and then you can kind of take, you can kind of help out a little bit on that as well. And you see, this is pretty solid defense uh, for one of the best corner routes in the game. Now, I didn't have time to get all the way into the in this video, but in tight offset, there is even a better way to stop corner routes. Tight slots is unique in the fact of the, the slots piece of it. And so against tight offset tight end and gun tight in general, it's actually a lot easier to stop corner routes um, out of those formations. We teach you all of that in the Patreon. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get our entire ebook on this stuff, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to get access to it. it gives you complete everything you need to know about match coverage and also everything you know about pressure run defense gap shoots all that stuff is done for you uh, by becoming a patreon member 10 bucks gets you access to everything the link is down in the description below